Hi there. Uh, on my last screencast about using Excel, uh, I showed you how to input data and insert a chart uh, using Excel, uh, but I didn't show you how to add labels and, uh, to the axes and a title to your chart, and that's important. So in, in this screencast, I'm going to show you how to do that. And I'm going to go. I'm going to input my data again. Um, but I'm going to go through that part of it faster. So if you need to, just pause the video and you know go back and review where you need to. So in this case, uh, the last time we did um, the Nerf gun lab where we had, uh, I think, gun height and uh, range, or the distance the dart traveled. So in this case, we're going to do voltage, which has units of volts, and current, which has units of amps, and electrical power which has units of watts. So I've got them all in there and they're kind of crowded so as we remember we can click and drag these. And I want to add a nice little border, underline border there. And I can also center these columns to make it look better. And I've got on my other sheet here, I already have some data in here for voltage and current, which I'm just going to copy over into into here. So for in this case I had a voltage of 1.3 to start and then in that case with that circuit I had uh, 50 milliamps or 0 0.05 0.05 amps running through my circuit. Here's 2.8 volts and 0 0.08 amps, 4.4, etc. And I want to calculate power by saying that equals this cell times this cell so there that goes there and I can keep doing I can keep doing the same down here but since I've done this once Excel is smart enough where I can uh, cut and paste this into these lower cells so I can say you know copy uh, you know I can right click do copy and I can come down here and highlight these cells and just do uh, paste that's one way to do it and Excel is smart enough so that in this case uh, if I double click on this I can see it knows I want this number times this number. Okay, so there that is. Now I've got all my data and I want to plot. See, I want to see how power varies with um, current. So I can highlight these two columns and I'm going to go to the insert, insert a scatter plot. And this is the one I want, just a scatter plot with points. I'm going to shrink this a little bit. I'm going to get rid of this legend here. I'm going to click on it and delete it. Okay, well there it is, and it's got a. I can come up here and I can I can edit this. Double click on this. This is power. I can say power uh, versus current. That's a better title actually. And I can come over here. I know this is power along these axes. And this is uh, current down below. So let me click down here. I'm going to come up and go to the Layout tab and say Axes, uh, let's see, Axes Titles. That's what we want. So I'm going to click on that and I want the horizontal. Put the title below the axis. So there it appears. So I can come in here, double click, and I can edit this. And I want this to be current. And the unit is going to have units, that's amps. Okay, there that is. So now I can come over here and I can have the title. This is the vertical axis. And I want a, a vertical, it's hard to read if I, if I print it vertically, but I want to print it horizontally. So I'll do this one. And let's get rid of this, whatever that is. And we'll say this is power and watts. And I can come over here and put a, a return there to save some space. There it is. Okay. So there's my, my graph now, and I've got um, power versus current on this axis, power here, and I've got uh, labels on my axes. So I can put this one aside. I'm going to put it down there. Now I'd like to I'll show you an example. I'm just going to show you how to do like uh, power versus voltage. So I could highlight voltage, and I want to highlight power too, but if I click and drag, I don't want current in there. So um, there's a couple ways I could do it, and one is to just highlight this column, and I hold down the control key and highlight that column too. So now I have these two. Oops, I just wrecked it. 
So I have this one and control, hold it down and click and drag there. So I highlight these two columns. And then I can go and insert a scatter plot. And now I'm going to have power versus voltage. I can get rid of this legend. Give me some more room. And down here on the bottom now, I can do a layout and axis title, the horizontal. This is voltage down here. And the units are volts. And over here on this axis, axis title, this is the vertical. This is still power. And that's in units of watts. Put a return there. And there we go. And now I have this chart. Oops, I can move that, drag that back. So there's that chart, and then here's this one behind it on current. And I'm free to now cut and paste these charts. I can take it, I can copy that and paste it into Word. So I can put it into Word and um, into my lab report. Okay, that's it. See ya.